As a subscriber, so welcome back on this platform, BVI Channel 1, where truth is gospel. I'm also Channel Peters. I don't expect this video to go viral because I know many of you will not like to share this video. I'm about to say the kind of truth you don't want to hear. But I will just have to say it anyway so that my spirit and conscience will be at peace because I've taken a vow to say the truth without fear, even if it means standing alone. Let us have another review of the sit at home exercise. I want to let you all know that this sit at home exercise had gone into autopilot. And here is the reason. One, our people don't need any coercion or enforcement of the sit at home through fear so that they will comply. They don't need it. They've already passed a vote of no confidence and they are using sit-at-home exercise as a means to send a strong message to the government of the Southeast that have failed them. That's why they are not listening. In fact, they get more angry when they hear governors mandate them to go out and open their markets, go to their workplace and the rest of them. They get angry more when they hear the governors making such utterances. That is why whenever they come up with such trust, people tend not to even listen to them and send a message back to them that they are not with them, that they are all alone by themselves. And again, they don't need coercion because they are seeing the Monday sit at home as a holiday. They've taken a stock and found out that what is the point of going to market, struggling, hustling and bustling, morning. Tonight, and at the end of the day, you have nothing to show for it. Because of failed, wicked, and oppressive government which we have in the Southeast. Insensitive political class we have in the Southeast. People who don't think about the plight of the people. So it is a protest against the government. They don't need any coercion. But I tell you, from what we are seeing and hearing from the street, those who are about to shut down the city at home will not be the, the, the DSS. Neither will it be the governors. But rather, those who have come out hiding and masquerading under and forcing the city at home, they are the ones that will shut down the city at home. Beginning with what we just saw recently. <laughs> Hey, hey. Complain Unkumi on fire. Complain Unkumi on fire. ESM warning for the students that they see today. Right, Engineer Wayek. ESM warning for the students that they see today. Right, Engineer Wayek. The Complain building. The new building is on fire. The new building is on fire right now. They saw students going for their exam. They were like, okay, you people are, dis are disobeying. These are some of the students that run away during the incident. These are people. Oh. These are the student back. Warning. They came inside the exam. This is examination. Oh. What well, they say, sit at home. Please sit at home for your dear life. Now the hall is empty. Now the hall is empty. Empty. Now the hall is empty. No, they are not joking. Hey, that is just reacting. And after burning, will you give the parents money to go and listen for work again? We are saying enough is enough. Our senators are here watching what is happening. They are quiet. Especially select minority leader, Eina Baribe. We know you are having political romance with them. Yeah. 
Christians. You cannot defeat me. If you if you're having political romance with them and you are quiet watching the killing in the southeast, it is a shame. You drive. Our land is not known for bloodshed. IPOB has killed more than 1,000 people since they began this exit at home. Known and unknown. Cars are being burnt. Every day that is at home, somebody must die. Every day that is at home, somebody must die. We are saying enough is enough. Senator, we are here for you. You are their friend, we know. You are their friend and you are quiet. You are doing as if you are a good person. And people are telling the South East, are you quiet? Go to Abba. Abba is your senatorial zone. Ariaria is a no-go area. If the government cannot do it, why can't you do it? Since you are showing us that you are a very good man, why can't you walk Abba? You are a senator for six, eight years, but you are going to eight years now. No, and Abba... No. Nearly 16 years. 16. You are going up for 16 years and Abba is a mess. All we are saying is that the next room must be done. Yes. You cannot be hiding under IPOB. You cannot be hiding under IPOB and be allowing evil to be happening in the southeast. Don't think we came from, I came from the east. This is on Saturday to come and meet you, Senator Nyeyine Abaribe, and all the other senators. You see, we are coming to the point where the people are beginning to reconsider the benefits of this sit at home. What objective are they about to gain from it directly as a people? They are not talking about their economy. They are not interested. It is the government that is worried about the, the money they are recouping from taxes when the markets are open. They are the ones, the politicians, they are the ones that are worried about that. But the people themselves, they are not worried about the economy. They are worried about the fact that this sit-at-home enforcement is making them look like slaves in their homeland. And that is the last thing an Igbo man will ever want. And that is why Many of them are reconsidering it. Especially when they've now seen that majority of those who are supporting this sit at home are those living in diaspora. That is the truth. I'm telling you what is coming out from the streets. They are beginning to reconsider. Believing that those who are sponsoring the enforcement of sit at home are not living in Biafra land. Majority of them. They are not affected by the education of their children. All of them, their children goes to school. Oh yes, their children goes to school. Majority of the people in the southeast are the biggest. They are bearing the biggest burden of this. They are making the biggest sacrifice, and they are beginning to ask this question: This Biafra nature, or the source of Ending on a Biafra land can actually on when they saw Biafra Kalia Ibefa. Then why would they be bearing the blunt of the entire weight by themselves? They are already reconsidering. I'm just giving you a direct information. Our people are beginning to reconsider. Owing to the fact that major fact. All Biafrans living outside Biafra land, especially those living abroad, they go about their job and their businesses every Monday. While they sit back behind their gadgets from their workplace and their homes after work to watch the effect of the sit-at-home exercise, which we've been publishing on the social media. That is the truth. They are beginning to rethink. This could be a matter of baboon the walk or monkey the walk, baboon the shop. So I want to end by dropping an advice. One, especially to those who are handling IPOB and those sponsoring the enforcement of sit at home. 
that what is about to happen will not only jeopardize the struggle, but also will jeopardize the very reason why this sit at home was adopted. For the freedom of Nam the Kanugod and the Biafra struggle. That is it. That's the reason. Good. This enforcement might jeopardize it if our people turn their back on the sit at home because of what I've just highlighted. And to save IPOB leadership, the little sense of loyalty our people have for them, the sense of love and loyalty our people have for this struggle under IPOB, to save it, you need to do something drastic to stop at least this forceful enforcement of sit at home. It can only work against the struggle. I have dropped this advice. It is now left for you to share it if you want. If you don't, I have delivered the message. My hands are clean. I'm signing out. Subscribe if you have not to get more video updates. Stay safe.